Okay, so many apologies for there not being a video uh, recently. I um, would like to do a video twice a week, uh, but I ended up floating the river and taking my phone with me, and so I didn't have a phone for a week or so, and basically this work has been done uh, while my phone was broken. So basically, you can see we've got the floor joist in all the way to the back of the vehicle. Sorry about that sunspot there. So there's more joist, then underneath that, and all the way to the back, if you could see down there, um, there's joist in, and we've got framing in and even poly iso sheathing in for the first window and we're about to be able to put it in I just put it in that bottom section because it was kind of an awkward shape but uh... that's gonna go in soon that's gonna go in soon these frame boards that you see here are installed already they're dry, those clamps are ready to come off then we're going to install the last uh, stud there and reinforce this. It looks um, a little wet, but it's actually not rotted, it's solid. And so I'm just going to reinforce it with new wood. And then I'll be cutting these boards today. And yeah, so this is where the bathroom was, right here, so you can see we're moving right along. And what I'm going to do, this was the shower drain before, and it had this stupid thing, <clears throat> and they all do. If you go into an RV and you go in the bathroom, normally you'll have to take a step up, at least in the old ones, um, to even get into the shower or bathroom, uh, and it's because you've got to have this function, and the tank sits right here, that's the tank, which means this is as low as it can be essentially when it sits on the floor, sorry, this is as low as it can be when it sits on the floor, um, you know, and so this has to be up high and then they build this up high, they build the whole thing up so that you, so just because of that little thing that has to be right there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, I'm going to stop using this drain, this is the shower drain, and this is the gray water tank, and since we're going with a compost toilet, a dry toilet, this black tank will be used for shower water, specifically. So rather than take out the black tank and have a dry toilet, we're going to leave the black tank and have a dry toilet, and instead of having this as the shower drain, I'll just cap this so this gray water tank basically just gets my sink water. That's all that will go into that uh, sink water. And the black water tank will get my shower water. Um, and I think that's going to be a good system because it'll allow us to take this down a bit. Um, I don't want to mess there right now, but that'll just pop right off and it'll allow us to take the shower floor down a few inches and have more headroom and more space in the shower and bathroom. So, alright, I'll do uh, another video in a little bit, but that's the bedroom area. The cab is fully exposed, so yeah, thanks for watching.